All right, so we measured the uh, total harmonic distortion of the uh, LM7815, um, and we found that to be quite low. I was curious to see, well, what is the, uh, what is the total harmonic distortion of this uh, uh, three-transistor um, audio amplifier in our AM radio? And uh, if, you don't remember, if you don't remember what that looks like, uh, you can see that we've got a uh, driver transistor into this uh, transformer and then a push-pull um, to the output. And we talked about this in the other video. Um, the way that the audio signal gets to this transistor is through a 4.7 microfarad capacitor to, uh, to ground, I mean uh, to the base. So I've added a, a separate uh, uh, capacitor here to inject that signal into the base. And, uh, sorry, it's going to be a little bit loud. So I can eject that signal into the, um, into the circuit. And as before, I have uh, connected up the uh, uh, Keithley, um, what is it, uh, 2015. So let's see, see how it measures. And if you're a guessing person, you'd probably think it's going to be worse than the <laughs> LM7815. And there we go. 7.8%. Wow. 7.8%. That's, uh, that's not too good. So let's, uh, let's hook up an oscilloscope and see if we can't see that 7% uh, that distortion in the uh, waveform. All right, so I've uh, connected an oscilloscope to the uh, speaker. Uh, look at the uh, monitor, the voltage across the speaker. Um, and uh, so you don't have to listen to that stupid tone. I've already uh, making a measurement and captured it on the oscilloscope. Um, so here we go. And you can see that uh, looks like a distorted sine wave. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see if we, can't, uh, if we can't zoom in a bit here. Yeah, that's... Uh, that doesn't look like a sine wave to me. Um, so, indeed, we are getting 7.8% uh, distortion. I guess that's what 7.8% distortion looks like. You can see the uh, uh, curve here isn't right, and it's definitely not symmetric. Thought that'd be interesting. <laughs>